the gathering together of the waters called E seas. The foolish son, the reason why they call him foolish is that, you know, they behave as if they are something. For instance, fool says in their heart that is no God. That means they believe they are the God of their life. But the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The, the wise is afraid. Oh God, so many. And the, and, the, and the foolish, the foolish say, why are you chittering? Why are you, why are you fidgeting? <laughs> he said, it's because of God Almighty. So my God, what do you mean? You have brain. You have everything. And the one say, I don't think I have brain. He said, scientifically, it is proof that it's inside your skull. The wise still say, I don't think I have skull. Until his death, David kept retreating the fact that it was nothing. Until his fall, Nebuchadnezzar said, This, the might of my hand has built it. The greatest fool in heaven and another the earth is Satan. He said, I'm actually beautiful and br brilliant enough to start an empire. Why would I be under somebody? That's why one of the things he said, one of the greatest abingers of wisdom is humility. He said, come to me, come and learn from me, for I'm meek and lowly in that, and you find rest to your soul. So I'm wondering, who should God be meek and lowly to? In heaven, God is not meek and lonely. No, don't, don't mistake. He's a judge. When God really wants to show himself to you, you will meet his bold nature of holiness, you will run. My wife was reading some things to me yesterday. I was not interested. He was telling me that God wanted to talk to the children of Israel. She was so fascinated. And that is the way Mirella is. So fascinated. I say, I'm trying to discover something from the book of Deuteronomy. But I didn't really want to get into talk. So I didn't want to talk. Say, God wanted to talk to the children of Israel. And they were running. And they would have talked, personally talked with them. But I said something. I said, they, there is no way they can hear him. I say, you yourself, can you stay there where fire, brimstone, thunder is coming? You know the reason why they were feeling thunders? Fire, brimstone. They were unholy. Perfect love cast out fear. There's a place you get to with God that thunders, fire, mean nothing. Elijah saw it. There was fire. There was wind. There was earthquake. He was still there until he had his still small voice. Some other people will have taken the... <laughs> They just removed their shoes. Only the wind is coming. One wind. They just removed their shoes. I said, the wind is chasing them. I say, I'm gone. I have I've changed not. He said, you see, it's not. The, talk to somebody else. Come back. Write it in paper. <laughs> when you get to heaven, when Jesus returns now, you think he's going to return as savior. He's returning as a judge, as a reigning king. That's when you hear the part from me. The same person that is say, come to me, oh you that labor and a heaven lady, I'll give you rest. It's just like during college time, the lecturers will be calling you, okay, we're going to have two hours, everybody will be there. On the day of resort, they say, if you have any question, ask me. You meet with them. I've, come, I've gone with some of our people to lecturers before. One of them told me, I say, but it's my son or whatever. I say, let your son go and walk. His, 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 his resort is capped. I say, no, but if you can just help me tweak some of the uh, exam scores and whatever he can. He said, let him go. If he walks, after some time, he can come back to college to do anything. He said, for now, that is the end of the road. I couldn't tell who we went together that I was drenched in, in the rain of sweat from the spine. Because the lecturer was now a judge. He was a teacher before, but now he judge. In heaven, God is not meek and lowly. For who? He sits on the throne, everybody bows immediately. But Jesus knew if you are in this territory, if you are this terrain called the earth, if you are not meek and lowly, you know there are principles that apply on the earth that don't apply in heaven. In heaven, you don't need time. In heaven, you don't need geography. In heaven, you don't need brain. In heaven, you don't need light. God himself is the light over there. There is no day nor night. You don't need clotting. The glory of God clot you. You don't need wife. Because you won't feel all the things we feel now. A guy will not pass by you and say, wow. You have ephemeral eyes. 
That's why Jesus is not seeing ladies the way we see them. The angels of God are not seeing human beings the way you see them. He said, that guy. That's the reason why Jesus said, the things that are highly esteemed among men, the abomination to go. You see a guy, you know, Enk, or what do you call them? Lenk. Enk. I don't even know the meaning. I've not checked the English because most of the English you speak in Ireland, they, they, we can't find them in the dictionary. <laughs> Your gas to cook. <laughs> in Nigeria, when well, they say somebody is passing gas, that means it's what is coming out of it. <laughs> say somebody is passing gas in that. <laughs> that means the whole place is marinated. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, Marie. It's from record for Saturday. It passes gas. It's gas. I was wondering. Gas. But I pretended as if I knew. <laughs> After some time, I said, I mean, is you funny? Oh, my God. So he said, yes. I'm actually <laughs> rise of both. Are you, are you listening? Are you listening? Things in heaven, the things that are highly esteemed among men, the abominations to God. But when you are on this terrain, are you listening? Jesus, the first 30 years, had to learn. The Bible says, the author of salvation became obedient through the things that he suffered. He had to learn the rudiment of the heart. God had to leave his glory in heaven and became poor to learn the rudiment of the heart. Otherwise, he was not going to succeed. That's what Endam and Eve didn't know. They didn't have meekness. They just saw an idea. They just ran into an idea. It's not run by anybody. It's not run by any authority. You need three set of people on, on your life. You need people above you. You need people around you. You need people below you. The theory of them at different times must be consulted for any major step you want to take. And don't consult anybody when your mind is made up. That is pride. You don't consult nobody when your mind is made up. I don't talk to nobody when I see that their mind is made. I was talking to somebody here on the, he said on the 31st in the morning. And the person was telling me I'm traveling this night or tomorrow morning. I just left the place. I don't care whether the person travels or doesn't travel. You, if you like, you can go and embalm yourself where you are going. One of the things I stopped doing, I don't beg people with the message God has given to me. I can't beg God to receive message and beg people to come and receive it. No. I can beg unbelievers, but a Christian that has been a Christian for about one year, never. God didn't want you to hear it. As a matter of fact, you don't know something. People experiencing difficulties in life is a bigger message than the one that I'm preaching. When you are 40 years old as a lady, before you get married, you will have been very humble. When you say the Holy Spirit asked me to talk to you, you say, talk my Lord. You have a lot of mouth. If you got married around age 20, 21, you have a lot of mouth. You don't even know the meaning of marriage breakup is. Maybe if you break up for about five years and the Holy Spirit does not allow you to have sex with anybody, the one you used to have anytime you just poke him or tap him, <laughs> tap right and I just say, you are starving me. And then you say, your prayer will not be answered. And then he said, okay, okay, come, come. <laughs> you look at the wall, you are starving. <laughs> and the wall say, you are mad. <laughs> say, mad woman. <laughs> Three months, you are not doing it here. Three months. <laughs> Every blindfold on the eyes of my husband. Move. He said, that is how his father was blindfolded. Move. <laughs> if an adventure by the grace of God, the Lord now bring you together. This is the way you'll be greeted. <laughs> Early in the morning, even in the day of fasting, you will make his food. Early in the morning, on the day of fasting, <laughs> you just say, hello, darling. His name is Tree. It can't be one. <laughs> darling, honey, sweetie. <laughs> Only one person. <laughs> he said, darling, sweetie, honey, in one minute. <laughs> he said, your food is ready. He said, don't worry, we are fasting. Ah, okay. Do you want to take it to work? <laughs> are, you, are you listening to me? When people have to learn through bitter experiences of life. Sometimes, as a leader, you have to give that space because your message does not carry weight to somebody who has not experienced a difficulty in that area. I know what I'm preaching now. Many of you don't know it. Sometimes I look at some of my children here and I just say, you just got married once and you just got it right. You don't even know the meaning. You don't even know the, you don't even know how you you know some of you don't know how your life is going. You don't you don't know. You don't know you have good life. I'm using my own life, my own pain to redeem you. I sit by everybody. You don't understand. 